And good evening and welcome to Girls Basketball. Tonight, the Titusville Rockets welcome the Fort LaBeouf Bisons. And we welcome you to our broadcast this evening. It is brought to you by the following sponsors. State Farm Insurance. Oil Creek Plastics. Interstate Pipe and Supply. True Value Hardware. Armstrong. Anderson Physical Therapy. The Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital. Joe Taylor Ford. The Barking Lot. Community Connect Federal Credit Union. Homerwood. Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning. RTI. And once again, welcome to the launch pad this evening. On this 22nd day of January, it may be cold outside, but it's uh, heating up in here. Uh, to do play-by-play -play for us this evening, we welcome Jim Bodemer to the broadcast. Good evening, Jim. Well, good to be with you once again. And as you mentioned, it uh, cold outside. It's going to be nice inside. Just watched a good JV game. It ended up 50-32, Lord Buff's favor. But uh, uh, I enjoyed watching. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen the girls play here at Titus. But quite honestly, I didn't do much with you last winter. And uh, it's kind of interested in seeing the JV girls play and the improvement that you see in them. So uh, I'm looking forward to this varsity game. It's a Region 6 matchup. That would be Fort LaBeouf against the Region 3 team, Titusville. And I'm looking forward to a really good ball game. I have Tyson coming in here tonight with a record of 4-9, and 1-7 and seven in conference play. Uh, LaBeouf coming in out of Region 6, 6-7 six and seven overall, 1-3 and three in Region play. So both teams hoping to uh, pick up some wins here and maybe get themselves an opportunity to get into the playoffs. So should be a good ball game. I'm looking forward to it. Tonight's game on Stream TV and on Armstrong. Be thanks to uh, those folks there. We've got tip-off coming up in just a few moments. This is Lady Rocket basketball this evening from the launch pad. Our coverage will continue right after this. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located at 202 Union Street in Titusville and 118 Main Street, Titty Ute, Anderson looks forward to opening their new location in Cambridge Springs, making it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy with convenient locations in Northwest Pennsylvania and online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. Homerwood is a flooring manufacturing plant. We make solid and engineered plain saw and flooring. We are very family oriented. We watch out for each other. We're each other's brother's keepers. We just all get along and just take care of each other. We're a small company in Titusville and we ship flooring all over the world. Um, take a lot of pride in the flooring that we make and that it does go into high-end homes. Uh, we're very quality driven here. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way, helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. So, State Farm will be here to help protect our home? Of course. What about here? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Here? Mm-hmm. Who wants tin boy in the microwave? Here? 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 Feels a little awkward. A little. Here? Here, too. It's so cold. Mm hmm Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Are you moving at the speed of business? File transfers, multiple locations, video chat. Companies these days are using more data than ever, and it's got to be fast. With gigabit internet from Armstrong Business Solutions, you can keep up with a pack no matter what size your company is. We can provide your business a reliable connection to our advanced fiber optic network with speeds from 100 megs up to 10 gigs per second. Get your business in the fast lane. Armstrong Business Solutions. Your business is our business.
And welcome back to our coverage tonight of Lady Rocket basketball. Your broadcast crew includes on camera Chris Feely. Play by play, Jim Bodemer. I'm Luke Rio. National anthem just moments away and tip off, Jim. This game tonight is going to be interesting because you have some scorers for a, for a buff that you're going to have to handle. Jenna Bennett, Bennett comes in with an average of 12 points per ball game. She scored 156 points so far this year. Lakin Proctor is uh, right up beside her with 11 points a ball game, and also Kaczynski, Emily Kaczynski, with seven and a half points a ball game. So you get three scorers in that side of the uh, aisle you have to take care of. But the same is true with Titusville. Amber Scott for Titusville, averaging 12 points a ball game. Brayland Eldred in with seven points a game and Emily Finley at six points so uh, both teams have three girls that can hurt you apparently in the scoring statistically anyway so uh, it's going to be fun to see how these girls match up where they go into zones mans and how the coaches try to uh, fend off these high scores so uh, that should be an interesting part of the ball game of course like everything in Luke it's going to come down to who can rebound and uh, who keeps from um, turning that ball over possessions are important and uh, so if you can rebound and play D and not turn it over too much uh, and have a decent shooting night you're going to come out of here a winner. Uh, Jim you had a chance to watch uh, the JV game and uh, uh, new assistant coach this year showed a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, yeah, I was really impressed uh, with Liz. Uh, her last name is uh, Cola Sajak, and uh, she was uh, uh, very intense. You know, and one of the things you always like to see in a coach, at least what I like to see in a coach uh, at any level, Luke, is uh, passion for the game and intensity, you know, uh, right in top of the game all the time. And Liz seems to have that passion for the game, and she kept the intensity up and kept her players in the ballgame. They lost by 18, but uh, they had some runs against them where they made some great crucial mistakes and uh, you take those uh, eight or ten possessions away and it's a close ball game but those are the eight or ten possessions that I was talking about early in terms of rebounding and taking care of the ball and so on but yeah that was a good JV game I, I enjoyed watching that because uh, uh, like I said I like to see somebody who really loves the game of basketball and enjoys coaching it of course Jen's the same way here in the varsity level so we have two young ladies over here coaching that are going to be fun to watch with Titusville and uh, we, we've done this before and they're not afraid to uh, let people know when they make mistakes and so on. So this could, this should be really interesting, even from a coaching standpoint, which, uh, again, I always enjoy watching that. Uh, you had a chance to talk to a gentleman from uh, Fort LaBeouf uh, uh, working the uh, scorebook for that team and uh, just reminiscing a little bit on uh, girls basketball. Oh, I did. I, you know, of course, I, every time I bring this up, Luke, it tells you everybody I'm 106 years old. <clears throat> but I was talking about the times that uh, we broadcast years ago when they changed the rules from six lady basketball to five on five with boys rules and uh, that was before the alternate possession rule and uh, we had some interesting discussions about how long the game would last some of them were like four hours long because all you had was jump ball I think the first girls game I did and I have a memory like nothing anymore but I believe the first game I did for the girls of Titusville in a five on five situation it ended up like ten to eight and I think it lasted about three and a half hours uh, it was up in McDowell high school and uh, to see that and then see how it's progressed to today is uh, really a lot of fun because um, it has really changed a great deal. Let's show in with the PA At this time, if you could please stand and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem.
to Titusville Area School District's presentation of Titusville Rocket Sports on the stream. Starting lineup for the Lady Bison. Wearing number 33, 5'6 guard, freshman, Katie Proctor. 23, 5'7 guard, sophomore, Torsha McCall. Number 22, 5'6 guard, junior, Emily Kusinski. Wearing number 15, 5'10 forward, junior, Lakin Proctor. And number four, 5'10 forward, senior, Jenna Bennett. The Bison are coached by Sarah Schultz and assisted by John Ponsel and Todd Burchanowski. And now, the starting lineup for our very own Lady Rockets. Number 15, 5'2 guard, junior, Emily Finley. Wearing number two, 5'4 guard, junior, Braylon Eldred. Number 34, 5'7 forward, junior, Abby Patterson. Number 21, 5'7 guard, junior, Amber Scott. And wearing number 13, 5'9 forward, senior, Ivy Chambers. The Rockets are coached by Jen Troop and assisted by Elizabeth Kolozacek. There you have it, the starting lineup for both squads tonight. It is great to be here at the launch pad for Lady Rocket basketball. Your broadcast crew includes Chris Feely. I'm Luke Rio. Jim Bodemer set to bring you play-by-play. -play. Yeah, looking forward to this. Uh, we've seen some of these ladies play in the past couple of years and uh, how much they've grown in terms of uh, their talents and their ball, ball uh, control. And able to play this game is going to be fun to watch. Ivy Chambers comes in at 5'9", and uh, I expect her to have a major impact for the Rockets on the boards. Uh, she got in, the last time I saw her play, got in a little bit of foul trouble. So, uh, of course, that's always uh, a real problem with anybody that uh, is 5'9 in this game uh, because of uh, uh, not many teams have girls 5'9. 5'7, yeah, quite a few, but uh, going 5'9 to 6 foot is uh, something different. Of course, Scott's going to jump for Titusville. Tip is controlled by the Bisons. McCall takes the cross side to Bennett, and Bennett's going to call four steps. Turnover of Bisons. <clears throat> Titus will inbounds. Scott will bring it across for the Rockets. Man to man now by Fort LaBeouf. Into the corner. Top of the key now they, they move it around. Good pass on to the left side. Penetration now double team down the baseline. And turnover Titusville. Eldred got uh, kind of double teamed down there, turned the ball over on steps. So both teams coming out with the turnover first possession. Kuzinski brings it across, check that, it is uh, McCall brings it across. On the dribble right side, Bennett, top of the key, dribble, shot from the foul line, no good. The rebound is taken off by Patterson. She'll give it up to Scott. Scott will bring it across for the Lady Rockets. Just underway, 7-15, first quarter, no score. Nice turnaround jump, jumper by Scott, no good. Rebound Patterson, Scott ties up with McCall. And it'll be a jump ball, it will go over to the Lady Rockets. There's that possession error that I wish we had 30 years ago. Scott looking for the inbounds pass, gets to Patterson on the baseline. Ah, she tries to dribble, ball's picked up by Eldred. Now she tries a cross pass and is stolen away on the dribble. Proctor has it knocked away by uh, the Rockets. That was a good hustle down there by Finley as Katie Proctor will inbounds now. Comes into her sister, Lakin Proctor. Now to the corner. Ooh, I thought stepped there. Bennett's shot is up. It's no good. Rebound weak side off of Fort LaBeouf. Go over to Titusville. Both teams a little bit tight right now, Luke. Just uh, got to settle down, relax, get into their game. Amber Scott brings it across for the Rockets. Goes to Eldred, now to Patterson. Her shot is partially blocked, and there's a whistle foul and a good rebound in there for the Rockets. That was Braylon Eldred getting the rebound. She'll go to the line, she'll shoot two. That foul is on. McCall, that's her first team first. Looking to put the first points on the board. Yep, we did. <laughs> One nothing Rockets. And a good touch, good shot. Pick up two from the foul line to zip Titusville with 6.34 to go. 
Good looking shot. McCall dribbles penetration, nice penetration. Shots up, no good. Rebound taken off nicely by Eldred, and uh, she now gets the ball off to Finley. Finley wants to bring it across on the left side on the dribble, all the way to the basket, and has it off her knee. Out of bounds. A little too fast. Run a little faster than she could dribble, I think, that time, Luke. Not a problem I ever had. Not that I could dribble, I just wasn't fast. McCall across the court, top of the key, gets a three ball, puts on the line. It's going to be two. Nice rebound in there by the buff. Now taken away by Titus with Scott Amber. Amber Scott. <laughs> and she travels as she tries to pick up the dribble. Top of the key, so turnover Titusville. You uh, spent, what, the late 60s to mid 70s traveling the, the countryside uh, putting on uh, basketball clinics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, people come out to watch me play because they needed a good laugh. <laughs> shot off the right side. Uh, it's no good. Shot over by Kuzinski. Not touched by anybody, so it'll be a turnover for uh, LaBeouf. Both teams with uh, several turnovers already. Amber Scott now into Finley. Finley is quick. Why don't she run track? Down the right side. Nice crossover. Nice pass. A good hustle back by the buff. They knock it out of bounds. Titus will inbound under the hoop. Finley has a number of uh, brothers and sisters and uh, just a very athletic family. Uh, she looks athletic. She's, uh, she's quick. Amber Scott, baseline. Shots up. No good. But Eldred is fouled. She'll go to the line and shoot two more. Eldred comes in at 5 2, but she plays big underneath. <laughs> She's had a couple of rebounds and uh, gets hammered a couple of times underneath. She'll be shooting two more. Shots up and good. The washer's shooting for him, Luke, and uh, she seems to uh, have good balance at the foul line, good follow through. That one's off the back of the rim and rolls out, but uh, looks like a good shooter. All three points tonight coming from the charity stripe. Bennett penetrates. Shots partially blocked, now picked up by Kaczynski. She gives the ball off, and that goes to uh, Lakin Proctor, and she picks up the field goal. 3-2. 5-20 left here in the first. Down low it goes, and whistle, and it'd be travel. The ball went inside to Abigail Patterson, and uh, she turned to make the jump shot and was uh, unable to get the shot off, come back down with the ball, travel. Kaczynski goes right corner, shot by Bennett off the front of the rim. It's no good, rebound taken off by the Rockets. And that was uh, Aldred once again on that rebound. Finley down the left side, going all the way to the hole, shot's partially blocked. Out of bounds, and it should stay with Titusville, I believe. Yeah, it will. Rockets win about under their own hoop. 4.55 left here in the first. Pass comes out front to Finley. Finley on the dribble once again down the middle. Shots up and in. I don't think they can stay with her. She really gets going. Four, five to two, Titusville. She's really quick. Kaczynski to Bennett. Bennett, long three ball. Good. Jenna Bennett with the three. Ties the game at five. Elder brings it across for the to Rockets. Down into the left side. Has the ball stolen away. Proctor all the way down. And, oh, a block call. Katie Proctor took it to the basket. And uh, the foul will be on the Rockets. That will be on Amber Scott. Her first team first. Katie Proctor will shoot two. First shot, something good. Two Proctor gals in the game. Kaylin Proctor, Lakeland Proctor, and uh, Katie Proctor. In and out, no good. Rebound taken off by Bennett of Fort LaBeouf, and uh, she'll take it out front. They'll set up and run again. Titus will end man to man. Ooh, a little screen. Bennett with a one handed from out front, two point. 
Ben is five points already. Inside it comes now to Titusville. Shots no good. Rebounds taken off by Fort LaBeouf. They push it up quickly down the right side. Trying to go baseline and the ball stolen away now on the pass by Eldred and Titus will, with Scott deliver, bringing it up. We'll see if they can set up and get back in. It's 8-5, LaBeouf on top. Amber Scott down the left side. Shot off the glass, no good. Rebound up and in by number 13. That would be Chambers. Picks up the, the two. 8-7. Down inside, nice pass, good look. Shots up, it's no good by LaBeouf. Comes off now to Finley. Finley down the left side, and she's gonna be pushed. Again, trying to ride parallel or run parallel with her, and you can't because she gets that shoulder in front of you, and she's quick enough that uh, it's just pretty hard to stay with her. Rossi into the ball game for the Rockets. Check that. That's uh, Sophie McGill. Inbounds comes to Finley. She drives down the middle. Left-hand shot. It's up off the rim. No good. Rebound comes out. Picked up by Chambers. Top of the key. It comes to Eldred. Wants to penetrate. Her shot off the baseline. Up. No good. And that'll be a turnover. So Tasha will turn it over. Down one with three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Kaczynski brings it across for LaBeouf. to Bennett at the foul line. She brings it now out front on a back dribble. We'll set up and run their offense. It's a high screen, it's a neat little screen, Luke. Did you see that? Now's the time to point out the, uh, the <laughs> same. The right side, three balls up and good. Same refs as uh, the Saints. <laughs> and Kaczynski hits the three ball. And Dinesel turns it over. 11 to seven. A buff inbounding out to Kaczynski. Emily Kaczynski, Jr., dribbles down the right side, dumps it down low now to Bennett. Bennett, nice move, shots up and in. That's just nice move inside. Set it up, nice drop step. Finley tries to get out front to Scott. Titus will turn it over once again. 13 7. Titus will down six here with 2.12 left to go in when the you, first quarter. When you coach Jim, was it, was it more annoying when the uh, ref uh, didn't acknowledge a mistake or when he would come over and say, hey, coach, that's my bad? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, I was a typical coach. Well, maybe I wasn't typical, atypical, maybe, because I thought they made mistakes all the time. <laughs> would you have preferred <laughs> so they, they an official had, not come over and say, hey, I'm sorry about that? No, I've had them come over. No, I, I don't. They're going to make mistakes, you know. I, I don't think it'd be as blatant as what we saw Sunday. But um, I thought that mistake Sunday cost uh, a few million dollar payout for uh, the Saints. But no, I didn't mind him coming over, Luke. And I talked to him a lot during the game. Sometimes kindly, some not so kindly. Um, in fact, I would even carry. I carried a, a shots up and in. Oh, missed it. I thought Bennett had the easy one. Didn't wasn't able to get it. Tie up, jump ball, go to Titusville. Uh, I carried a rule book with me and a case book. And I had been known to come out and uh, pull the case book and rule book out, tell the officials this is why I was complaining. Uh, a lot of them didn't like that. Here's a breakaway for Titusville, shots up and in Chambers. Good, good breakout for Titusville. Ivy Chambers picks up the two on the break. 13-9, Titusville's down four. I had the opportunity to play with uh, one of the, play while one of the greatest officials in the history of basketball was around. A quick break out by Titus, so shots up and it's in. That'll be by McGill on that break out. I thought she stepped with it, but um, no call. Titus will back in it now, 13-10. Here's Bennett with the three ball. It's good. Oh, two, excuse me. She had a foot in the line. Boy, that's, that's the shot that really kills you as a, um, as a coach. When they uh, have that foot on the line, it's, they're three inches away from another point. They're not watching their feet. 
And, and this conversation has nothing to do with the officiating tonight at oh, all. Oh, no, 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 they're doing a good job. The buff up 15, 14. Bennett crossover to Proctor. Katie Proctor whistle and call underneath. Foul is on uh, Finley of Titusville. No, there was an official, uh, Red Mihalik, and uh, back in the 50s and so on. And uh, he refereed everything. He did our high school games here in the gym uh, in 57, 58. And then he went on, did college games, did the NCAA tournaments, did NBA games, did the Olympics. Uh, last I saw him at a meeting, uh, at a dinner, excuse me, uh, he was 80 years old, and uh, he was a guest speaker at a, a basketball team I used to play with, and uh, they had a special honors dinner. And it was just so much fun to sit with him and talk with him because he refereed everybody. But he was so good, and he, he knew better than the saying, oh, there's a good rebound. Foul's going to be on Titusville. Lake and Proctor will go to the line shoot, too. But he was one that you really respected, Luke. When he made the call, you knew he made the call, and you didn't even look at him because he was really quick with a whistle to tee up. But he was so good, nobody argued with him very often. First shot's up and no good. Proctor at the line, Lake and Proctor. It's a tough job. Uh, Second shot's up and good because, uh, you, know, you, you know, it's tough because nobody wants to do it anymore. It's hard to getting officials for games. Nobody's getting their license. Scott, Amber Scott, nice move. Pulls over left side jump shots, no good. And we have a steps call on uh, Bennett. Titus for inbounds under their own hoop. Down by five, 16-11. Sophia down! Got to move. Pass comes out to Eldred. Eldred pulls up, shot from the wings, no good. Rebound taken off by Bennett of Fort LaBeouf. She's going to push it across with time running out. Long half court shots up, no good. First quarter comes to an end, 16 11. Fort LaBeouf on top. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is a not-for-profit, member-owned financial institution, and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Ask about our money market accounts, low interest loans on new and used vehicles, or start saving for the holidays with a Christmas Club account. Visit us today to get started. We're Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. Second quarter underway here at the launch pad. Titus will down five to Fort LaBeouf. LaBeouf with the ball. Corner shot by Bennett. It's good. It's Jenna Bennett. No wonder she's averaging 12, 14 a game. She's uh, had uh, 10 in the first quarter. That's 13 now. There goes Scott down the left side. I like Amber Scott. And there's another tough gal, Breland Eldred. Ball now is turned over by Titusville. Picked up by Fort LaBeouf. Shot from the foul lines up and good. Katie Proctor picks up the two. Quickly, Fort LaBeouf opens it up to a nine point lead. On the right wing to McGill. McGill squares up, top of the key to Chambers. Left side to Scott, down underneath. Nice cut by McGill, shots up, no good. Gets her own rebound, shots up, no good. Fights for the ball, gets it again, shots up and good. Way to stay with it. Good effort by McGill of Titusville. She'll go to the line and she'll shoot one. 
as a coach, that's what you like to see. If someone's uh, putting forth that kind of an effort. Three rebounds for her. Putting it in. Shots short. He'll be taken off by LaBeouf. 2013, seven point lead for, for the Bisons. Inside it goes. Shots up and good. That's by Megan Proctor. Picks up her first field goal of the second quarter. 22-13, nine point lead. Amber Scott brings it across on the dribble. Ah, picks up her dribble and now she's in trouble. Goes to... I'm watching the game. Shot is up, no good. We have a jump ball and a pile up underneath. I got to watching the game. Braylon Elder dribbled down onto the baseline. I could hear coach. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I don't help any. I just all of a sudden get quiet. I get to watch in the game, Chris. Doesn't help a bit. Amber tries to go inside and whistle and steps again, called on Bennett. And then it'll be Titus's ball out of their own hoop. Amber Scott. Into the corner to Finley. Knocked out of her hands, out of bounds. It'll stay with Titusville. 6.23 to go here in the first half. Nine point lead for Fort LaBeouf. Amber Scott penetrates at the foul line. Turns, jump shots up, no good whistle. And a foul, she'll shoot two. Amber Scott Jr. Spread the line shooting two. First foul on Lakin Proctor. Scott shots up and good. A little bit of rotation in that shot. I was watching her early. It's her first point of the game, but uh, I watched her in the shooter round before the game, and uh, she has good rotation in the ball. I actually crossed her guide hand that time. Should have kept my mouth shut, Chris. Didn't do her any good. Bennett into the corner. Shot from the corners, up short. Rebound taken off by Titusville. And now we get a jump ball. And it will stay with Fort LaBeouf. Patterson get tied up. She had the rebound, brought it down, and uh, was tied up by Bennett. Inbounds. It comes to Proctor. Back into Bennett and knocked out of bounds. It'll stay here. There's another thing we don't talk too much about, Luke, but you have to watch it is four spacing. Uh, I think that's true in all sports. Uh, you, you like, uh, you got kids playing soccer. Uh, spacing is important in, in all these sports. That pass there was uh, just too close. Nice hustle by Finley, knocking it out of bounds. Again, it'll go to Fort LaBeouf. Yeah, getting uh, your offer offense to uh, spread out. Yeah, yeah. Well, in, so basc we in basketball, like that pass, oh, that shot's up and in. That was a nice, nice shot by Proctor. Ooh, I mean, that's three on Finley. It's hard to pass to somebody when they're two inches away from you. Well, it is. And the other thing that happens, it's easy to double team the ball. You bring your man right to the ball. Yep. A lot of coaches anymore don't like to sc uh, screen the ball. Um, that's why you see a lot of them screening away. Um, unless you're running a lot of in, the, in the college and pro levels anymore, you see a lot of pick and roll where you do screen the ball from the high post. But for the most part, a lot of your motion offenses and so on, you don't screen the ball because you bring that other defensive man into you. But uh, I'm old fashioned. We always ran a lot of uh, on ball screens, but uh, I'll be uh, frank with back. you, Jim. Uh, I, I have concerns about the future of high school basketball. Uh, when you look at Titusville, for example, you don't have basketball uh, at the elementary level. Uh, you still have it at the Ys, uh, which thank goodness we have that. But uh, for the most part, if you want to start out playing basketball, you're looking at seventh grade. And how far back is that going to push your, your program? Well, it affects a great deal. Uh, I was fortunate, as you mentioned the why, I was fortunate when I was in school, we didn't have, we did not have elementary ball that I recall. Um, we had a jun good junior high program, but we had a very productive Y program. And uh, I spent a lot of time at the Y playing basketball, uh, but it wasn't really an instructional program. Uh, it was more of just, uh, uh, 
playing a lot of game type of thing, you know. If I was on Amber Scott, that's two for her. She's got two, Finley's got three. Proctor at the line, her shot's up and in. Lakeland Proctor. Six points on the game. 25-14, Fort LaBeouf on top. Second shot's also good. But yeah, you're, yeah, that has that has a big effect on it, Lou. Uh, not having well, and, and, you know, you had Leisure Services Steps. that ran those programs at the elementary level, and you don't have that anymore. So, um, hopefully, and I know some things are trying to be worked out where you, kids will have that opportunity at the elementary level of playing competitive basketball and, and getting those fundamental skills down. Well, the fundamental thing is what's really bothering me. Bennett on top of the key now for. Fort LaBeouf shot from the corner by Kuzinski's no good. Ties will take it off. Uh, yeah, one of the things that I see happening at all levels of sports, was, but I like basketball a lot. Uh, a lot of what I see is um, uh, the lack of fundamentals. Uh, the other thing that, uh, and I was talking to my son David, who coaches uh, for Fredonia State University, and uh, we were talking about his ball club, and the kids don't have an awareness of the game. Uh, we've gotten into playing like more street ball, more one-on-one -on -one type of thing. And uh, the concept of team play, nice shot. Shots up and in. Paige Blake for the Lady Rockets. She had a good JV game too. Uh, but the fundamentals of the game are being lost and the knowledge of the game and court awareness, that kind of thing. Nice move, strong move. And there by uh, Proctor. She'll get the two plus the foul. We were commenting uh, last week at the boys game about uh, three seconds, and I asked Coach Mellenbarker about that the other day, and he said they don't call it if it doesn't really impact the, the play at that moment. Yeah, I'm not, yes, and I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, that's like sometimes you let something, like maybe a bad screen or a moving pick or something go in the, away from the ball. A uh, foul's a foul. Yeah. Right. That's just my my uh, take on the game. You know, it's, it's if you're in there, you're not allowed in there three seconds and get out of there. You know, I used to. I used to tell the officials, you know, if he's gonna stay in there that long, you're gonna tell him to bring some wood to make that fire. <laughs> and those kinds of comments and didn't hold me in good stead with some of the officials. But, uh, but yeah, you're right, uh, and, and Coach is right, Mullenbacher, that uh, they, they don't emphasize that unless it's gonna have a negative effect upon the play. Uh, the same way the fouls are away from the ball and some of the, some of the uh, difficult plays underneath. Guys are so big, it was a nice move by, this gal's pretty tough, this uh, Proctor has a good post-up move. I'll have to look at my roster here and tell you, she's, uh, her height, she's a pretty tall gal. 340 left to go in the first half, 14 point lead for the Bisons, and uh, we, Titusville, will inbounds under their own hoop. Amber Scott to inbound for the Rockets. Throws it off the back of a bison. Comes into the court, picks it up, and shoots it in. Turned her back, the bison turned her back on the uh, play, Luke, and Amber just utilized her back. Passed it to herself. Uh, pick and roll, shots up, no good, but uh, be knocked out of bounds, and it'll stay, check that, it'll go over to Titusville. But I think that's probably true of all the sports. Uh, a lot of things where the fundamentals are just not there. And the teams that play strong fundamentals are the teams that go on to your championship uh, play. Uh, a lot of, oh, nice shot. Amber Scott. Good pull up, four footer on the jump shot. Good move down the middle, kick to the corner. Shot from the corner, it's good. Nice play by the Bisons. Haley Young picks up the field goal for the Bisons. Scott brings it down the other side, crosses over down the left side, jump shot from the baseline, in and out, and rolls out, rebound, fought for, and it'll be a jump ball, go over to Tyson on a possession rule. A lot of fight from both of these teams. Yeah, they're, they're not giving up at all. It's a 12 point lead right now, was, you know, and that can change quickly. 
I'm sorry, I called that wrong. It will be the Bison's ball in the alternate. No, that's good hustle by both these teams. And uh, there's some nice basketball being played out here, Luke. The call to Bennett down the left side. Oh, there's the steps. Can't give her the three. I thought she stepped. Ailey Young hits the three. Little hop before the shot. You show me that in the replay at halftime, Luke. Right side comes to Scott. Her shot from the baseline is in and out. No good. Rebound taken off by Fort LaBeouf. Jump ball. That one will stay with Titusville. Chambers comes out. McGill goes in for the Rockets. Inside, ball's knocked away, out of bounds, and it will go to Titusville. I think it was uh, number three that went in. Is that Ella Madison? Was oh, it? Uh, I'm sorry, yep. Shot by Scott, across the middle. Amber Scott starting to uh, heat it up a little bit. Seven here this quarter for her. 149 left to go. And you're right about that. That is Madison that came in for the Lady Rockets. As LaBeouf turns it over, go to Tashville. 35, 22, 139. High post, shot off the rim, no good. Rebound by the Lady Rockets. Taken off now by Bennett. Bennett out quickly to Mc... And shots up and in. The pass come out quickly to McCall. And she dumped it off. Bennett gets the hoop. One minute left to go. 15 point lead, shot from the left side, no good. Rebound by McGill, ooh, I thought she got hit. Out, breakaway. McCall, shots up and in. The tempo of the game's picked up a little bit here in the last minute. Go now! Go now! Scott, on the drill on the left side, into the corner, shot from the corner, is good. Eldred picks up the two. Quickly coming the other way with 25 seconds left in the half. McCall will set it up for the Bisons. Gets a high screen to the wing. Shot from the wing. It's an air ball taken off from the baseline. No buying the Bisons on the weak side. Shot from the weak side. Up, no good. Underneath shots up and in. Good inside position by Kaczynski. And she picks up the field goal with seven seconds left to go. Scott from down the right side. And she's going to get called for a charge. Mm, that's her third, too. Yeah, my goodness. With two seconds left to go in the half. Last second throw up, no good. And the end of the first half, 41 24. Fort LaBeouf on top. We'll be back right after these messages. State Pipe and Supply is proud to announce their celebration of 50 years in business. Holding true to their motto, service means business, they offer a full knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering. They are not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. They have been a primary pipe supplier in Titusville for 40 plus years. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year, and thank you for making Interstate Titusville's premier pipe supplier. 
Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located at 202 Union Street in Titusville and 118 Main Street, Titty Ute, Anderson looks forward to opening their new location in Cambridge Springs, making it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy with convenient locations in Northwest Pennsylvania and online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. Homerwood is a flooring manufacturing plant. We make solid and engineered plain saw and flooring. We are very family oriented. We watch out for each other. We're each other's brother's keepers. We just all get along and just take care of each other. We're a small company in Titusville and we ship flooring all over the world. Um, take a lot of pride in the flooring that we make and that it does go into high-end homes. Uh, we're very quality driven here. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way, helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. So, State Farm will be here to help protect our home. Of course. What about here? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Here? Mm hmm. Who wants tinfoil in the microwave? Here? 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 Feels a little awkward. A little. Here? You too. It's so cold. Mm hmm. Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Are you moving at the speed of business? File transfers, multiple locations, video chat. Companies these days are using more data than ever, and it's got to be fast. With gigabit internet from Armstrong Business Solutions, you can keep up with a pack no matter what size your company is. We can provide your business a reliable connection to our advanced fiber optic network with speeds from 100 megs up to 10 gigs per second. Get your business in the fast lane. Armstrong Business Solutions. Your business is our business. And welcome back to the launch pad. It's the Rockets and the Bisons this evening. Our coverage of Titusville Rocket Winter Sports this season is brought to you by the following sponsors. State Farm Insurance. By Oil Creek Plastics. By Interstate Pipe and Supply. By True Value Hardware. By Armstrong. By Anderson Physical Therapy by the Meadville Medical Center, Titusville Area Hospital, by Joe Taylor Ford, by the Barking Lot, by Community Connect Federal Credit Union, by Homerwood, by Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning, and by RTI, Jim. Second half underway, and right away they post up uh, Proctor. She picks up two down low. Uh, she's done all night, now Tassel turns it over. It's 43-24. McCall brings it across, gets inside, shots up is no good. Rebound Proctor, shots up, no good. And we tie up underneath. And once again, I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, we were talking with uh, Chris there during the break. Uh, the hustle of the times for gals is really quite good. Uh, Eldred is playing really well inside. I've got a list of five too, but she's done a really yeoman's work on the boards, tying up the ball. Here comes Scott across on the dribble at the foul line. Pulls up, 15-footer, off the back rim, no good. Taken off quickly by McCall. She comes the other way. Right side, pulls up, 15-footer from the right side, no good. Rebound, taken off by Proctor. Proctor shots up and in. And Titus was going to take a quick timeout. Lake and Proctor picked up two quick field goals inside. At 6.45, Titus will take a timeout. Tonight's game on stream television and Armstrong and want to just take a moment to uh, uh, 
wish the uh, the Armstrong uh, family uh, the best during uh, this time. They lost uh, uh, a valued employee, and uh, we lost a good friend over the weekend, and we'll have more on that uh, next week, uh, Jim, at the game. And Mike Fiorillo will speak more of that on the game they're doing tonight. But uh, Jeff Corey, uh, who's been with uh, Armstrong for a long time in their production department, did a lot of projects with us, uh, passed away unexpectedly over the weekend. So uh, we wish uh, his family uh, all the best and prayers to uh, them and, of course, to the Armstrong family. Yeah, that's very tough, a very tough situation for everybody. And, of course, as you mentioned, a good friend of ours uh, helped us broadcast the Meadville Oral City. Or check that, the uh, McLean Oral City playoff game and uh, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed his fellowship. So, yeah, our thoughts and prayers with uh, all the Armstrong family. That's a tough one. 6.45 to go here in the third. 45-24. Tidusel with a timeout. And will inbound at midcourt. Scott to will bring it up for the Rockets. The buff stays in there man-to-man. -man, high post. Dribble down the left side. Kicks back out. Finley, nice pump fake. 15-footer off the glass. No good. Rebound taken up by McCall as we run the other way. Two on one. McCall, nice feed underneath. Oh, good hustle down by the Lady Rockets. The foul will be on Eldred, I believe. But uh, that was good hustle by Eldred to get down there because it was a 2-1-1. One, one. And going to the line will be Katie Proctor. Off the front of him, no good. Shook it to second and two. 45-24, 6-26. Just second half underway. Second shot's up and good. Proctor gets one of two. 46-24. Inside to Finley. She loses it. It's picked up by Bennett. Jenna Bennett will bring it across for Fort LaBeouf. Nobody picks her up. Top the key. Her shot's up and in. Boy, I tell you, she has burned you out there. you got to get somebody on the ball, pick up the ball. Nobody picked her up. She was wide open, top of the key for the three ball. Foul line shot by Amber Scott. Another one you don't want to leave open. She comes in with her ninth point of the game, 49-26. Pass goes inside. Shot is up inside, no good. Rebound taken off by Chambers, and she is tied up. Possession error will stay with Fort LaBeouf. Madison comes into the ball game for the Lady Rockets. Ella. That's it, that's it. To Proctor. Ben, excuse me. Bennett's going to bring the ball out on the dribble to the right side. Three ball by Bennett. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound is taken off by LaBeouf. The shot's up. No good. Whistle and a foul as once again Eldred's in there with the rebound. The foul will be on Lake and Proctor. Her second. Amber Scott brings it across to the Lady Rockets. Down the right side. Shot up by Braylon. Braylon. <laughs> Easy for me to say. Eldred, as she is fouled, she'll go to the line shooting two. Jenna Bennett picks up the foul, her first. Off the side of the rim, no good. See Bill Good standing down here talking to some of the people on the far end of the, the court. Second shot's up, back of the rim, no good. Wonder how frustrating it is for him. He spent some years with Greg Howe coaching the girls' team a few years back. And comes down and watch the ladies play quite often. Pass inside is stolen away by the Lady Rockets. Scott brings it the other way. All right, he helped out what up to a couple years ago. Oh, nice pass inside. And now we toss it away. Oops, on the fourth, we pick it back up. Dump it down to Braylon. Her shot's up. Eldred, no good. Rebound taken off by Bennett. What's that again, Luke? I'm sorry. Uh, he, he helped uh, recently, I mean, up to a couple years ago. Yeah, he did. He was helping uh, Jennifer. Uh, baseline jumper is up. No good. The rebound is taken off. 
by the Lady Rockets. That would be Abigail Patterson with the rebound. Scott brings it up at the foul line. Shots up, rough shot. A little bit forced and nothing there, but picked up by LaBeouf. We'll go the other way. 420 left to go in the third. Jenna Bennett dumps it down inside to Proctor. Kicks it back into the corner to Bennett. Back down into Proctor, a little inside outside game. Turn around jumper by Proctor, no good. The rebound, whistle and a foul on the weak side. And that foul will be on Madison of Titusville. And it'll be a two shot situation for Jenna Bennett. Bennett had 15 in the first half of their 41. Shoot two. First shot's up and in. Bennett's listed at 5'9 in my program. She plays big in there. Strong girl. They've taught her well inside. She posts up really well. Second shot's good also. That's a little better looking shot than what I saw the first half from her. 17, check that uh, 20 for her in the game. Eldred tries to go down and inside on the dribble, but uh, steps with the ball, turns it over. Turnover is killing Titus, really. Percentage of possessions. How many possessions do you get in a ball game? Anytime you turn it over, it's one more you give them. You're gonna get so many automatically, but uh, Obviously, the more possessions you get, the better opportunity you have to win. Nice pass inside, shots up and in by Bennett. I'll tell you what, those turnovers kill me at uh, Arby's. You know, you're, <laughs> you're full, you eat just enough, and then they, they tempt you with the hot uh, turnover. <laughs> yeah, loose ball, goes to Amber Scott. Oh, she's hit. She makes the, uh, makes the shot on the turnover. Tassel picks up two, 53-28. We just have to be disciplined, just like in this game. Oh, backdoor cut, shots up and in. Oh, in and out. Weak side rebound nicely, though, for uh, Kaczynski. To the foul line, shots up by guess who? Bennett with another three. I've got her in with five threes tonight. To the two. Thank you, Chris. Had her foot on the line, poked away by the buff. I tell you, it's pretty bad when the cameraman knows Sees it better than I do, huh? Up there to singing for me. Appreciate it. Bennett's going to sit down. Here, check that. Um, Proctor. We have a blocking foul. And that's going to be on Fort LaBeouf McCall. Her third. Ties will inbounds under their own hoop. Got to get it in, got to get it in, got to get it in. And she does, the elder, the elder down the right side. Tries to dump down into Scott, and we have a push inside, and that foul will be on Kaczynski. Emily Kaczynski's a junior for Fort LaBeouf, her first. Team second. 249, 55-28 here in the third quarter. Amber Scott shot is up, it's no good. Tried that off the back again, taken off by McCall. Right side, it comes to Bennett. Kicks it back out to McCall. McCall's gonna penetrate, good move inside. Shots up, no good, but she's fouled. And I believe that's four, it is, that's four on Amber Scott. So you lose your point guard here early in the third quarter. Megan, Megan Haynes will come into the ball game for the Rockets, replacing Amber Scott. 56-28. Second shot is no good. Tassel brings it across into the left side. Eldridge shot up from the left side, no good. Rebound weak side by McCall. Protect that Kaczynski. She gives it off to Bennett. Back to Kaczynski, oh, almost stolen away. Penetration, shots up and good. Good penetration by McCall, she gets the hoop. 
58-28, now a 30-point lead opened up here. Tassos only has seven this half. Ooh, Bennett will bring it across. Right side to Proctor, Katie Proctor. Top of the key to Kaczynski. Kaczynski looks down low to McCall. Now they feed inside to Kaczynski. Her baseline jumpers up and in. Where's the tough shot? Check that Katie Proctor with the hoop. That's a tough shot. Quickly, Finley comes the other way. He picked it up court with Finley dribbling the ball. She's so quick. She tries to feed inside the high post, and the pass is thrown away, trying to go to Blake inside. And we turn it over again. That's a big part of the game tonight is turnovers. 60-28, the buff on top. Now the ball is thrown away by Haynes. Going to go to the basket with the dribble. Her shot's blocked, but it's taken off by Page. Her shot's blocked to Eldred, 15-footer. Eldred's good. Eldred picks up the hoop. Two block shots, but we keep stay with it. And uh, Eldred able to pick up the hoop with uh, less than a minute here in the third quarter. Right side to Proctor. Top of the key, Bennett left side to McCall. Top of the key. Now they keep swinging the ball around to Bennett. A lot of movement right now by LaBeouf. Kaczynski, left side. Kaczynski on the dribble, whistle, and a three second call. Wow. Oh, -ho. it had no effect on the game. Why'd they call it? Because it's the rule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're camping in there. <laughs> Finley brings it across to the Lady Rockers with 20 seconds left to go. Top of the key. Left side, Finley down inside, off the hands of Haynes, picked up by LaBeouf. LaBeouf picks it up, pushes it up to four. Proctor, top of the key, shot is up. Three ball, no good, off the front of the rim. Rebound is up and in. Lakeland, Lakeland Proctor picks up the two on the rebound as the third quarter comes in 62-30 for LaBeouf. Whoever said, it's only a dog, never loved a dog. Our philosophy is simple. We treat every dog as if it were our own. And believe us, we spoil our dogs. When dogs are comfortable, they're happy. The Barking Lot in Titusville is ready to make your dog happy by offering grooming services, daycare, and boarding. Call today to schedule an appointment, or better yet, stop in and discover a stranger, crazier, quirkier group of dog lovers at the Barking Lot in Titusville. Get ready for the fourth quarter of play and the Rockets trail the Bisons 62 to 30. And a reminder, we'll be back here at the launch pad Tuesday as the boys take on General McLean. That'll be a good ball game. Every game now is important for the boys team. They're over in Warren tonight and uh, it's, uh, the boys are up 23-6-17. 23-17 at the halftime. Thousand point scores. Kai Skinner recently added to that list. You, you often wonder, Jim, we, I know we had this discussion a couple years ago and Kai hit that mark, but uh, those other guys that didn't have the opportunity to have that three-point line, what uh, what that would have done for them? Yeah, it, it would have made a big difference. Uh, I happened to play with one of those names up there, George Dewey, and uh, George was a very good scorer, and uh, he would have enjoyed the three-point but so would have uh, a lot of the other guys who are up there. So it would have had an effect on it. You mentioned Mr. Good. Of course, his son is up there. Yeah, he was a good spot up shooter. So was his dad. Shot by Thomas was no good. Rebound is taken off by Bennett. Yeah, I played ball a lot with Bill when he first came to town. We got together and uh, you didn't want to let him alone. He'd burn you every time he spotted up. Really good shooter. Taught his son well. Bennett, top of the key. Three balls good. That's her fifth. That was three, right, Chris? Sixty-five thirty. Eldred tries to penetrate on the floor after the ball. Good hustle. Haynes dribbles it through. Gives it off to Finley. Oh 
Finley, top of the key. And down she goes and she gets back up on the dribble. Now she throws it away. I don't too sure what there should have been a call there. I'm not. Long three ball by Fort LaBeouf. It's no good. The rebound taken off by Emily Finley. And she brings it across. High post. Shot is up. No good off the rim. Abigail Patterson, Abby, missing the shot. Uh, Chris brings up an interesting point. How many more players would be up there if there was a three-point line back then? If there was not? If there was. Oh, from, the, from back? Uh, probably a few. A uh, thousand pointers. Uh, I think we had uh, two or three on our team that was very close to it. Um, we played with George Dewey, Ronnie Warner, a uh, good shooter. Puck Beeson was a good shooter. Tom Allen was a good ball player. Phil Cox had several that were pretty good ball players. And uh, I'm not sure any of those. Uh, Tom Allen, there's a foul out there. And I think that'll be on Emily Finley. No, oh, it is. That's her fourth. So we have two with four now, Scott and Finley with four each, and that will send uh, Bennett to the line. Off the front of the rim, no good. I have Bennett in with 27 tonight. Going after 28 and got it. 66-30. Slightly into the ball game for Tassel as uh, Scott also comes in. Scott playing with four. So Scott and Finley both out on the court for Titusville with uh, four. Second shot, let's check that third shot is up and good. And now um, Jenna Bennett will sit down. I have her in 29 points, 29 of 66. Did some damage on us tonight. Really a good ball player. Posts up well, pretty good skills. Slightly for Titusville, the ball's knocked away. It'll stay here. Jennifer getting a chance to play some of the younger girls here, get some varsity experience. Down by 37. Next time we'll be back to cover the girls. It'll be senior night in a couple weeks. Looking forward to that. That's always a good evening. Kuzinski brings it across for the junior for Fort LaBeouf. Another high dribble. Seems like every year, Jim, we shake our heads uh, when the seniors are going through the ceremony. It's like, didn't we just start following them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they grow up in a hurry, don't they? Well, it's like uh, Emily Scott when we were talking. Uh, I think it was Chris that mentioned at halftime that she's in her fourth, th third year of varsity ball. And uh, so we'll watch her for four years, so it's no wonder we're used to seeing her out there. Shot is up and missed by Lakin Proctor. Paige in, Patterson out for Lady Rockets. Proctor get the second of two. And rolls around, it's no good. Rebound taken off by LaBeouf. The shot's up, no good. Ball's on the floor, and now it's taken off by Finley, and she is fouled. The foul will be on, I believe, 33. That would be Katie Proctor, her third. You give these coaches credit working with, uh, in this case, the girls or, you know, the coaches that work with the boys. Uh, they just put in a lot of time and... Uh, you know, let me tell you a real neat story about that uh, that happened. Uh, I think you know that our son Dave coached the uh, shots up and no good by Tassel. Coached the uh, Climber Sherman Panama football team. They won states up in New York State. Um, had a gentleman called him from New York City and gave them $1,000 to take their family and wives out. And the reason for it, no, oh, nice drive and shot, good finish. Uh, the reason for it, he said, is that he wanted the wives to understand that people recognize how much time they give up so their husbands can uh, participate in these sports coaching. 
uh, I thought that was kind of a neat thing. So you're right when you're you were alluding to Luke. Uh, these people, men and women, give up a lot of their time to uh, instruct these kids in sports. And you think about you just mentioned Coach Good. He also uh, assisted uh, Tim McCord yep. when he was the uh, the boys' coach. And uh, uh, congratulations. This is something we didn't mention during football season, and we should probably spend some time on it this fall. But uh, Coach Wiley being inducted into the coaches' Hall of Fame uh, this uh, or last year. He's a good man. I enjoyed. I still enjoy talking to John when we see him. Shots up, it's no good. Rebound taken off by Fort LaBeouf. I just got to get uh, Buck Crab inducted. And there's yeah. Coach Good again. Yep. Yep, there's Bill Good. Must be nervous. He's hanging on for dear life there. That's what age does to you, Chris. You have to hang on. Proctor at the line, and we have stoppage. Now we're ready to go. Lake and Proctor shooting from the foul line. Her shot's up and good. Fort LaBeouf opening it up. They're up 41-24 at halftime, but they've opened it up now to a 72-30 lead. Titus with only six points here in the second half. Foul trouble it was one of the things. Of course, turnovers real big. So Titus' bench had to be playing a lot of time in the second half, unable to score against this above girls team. Nice baseline jumper by Scott. No good. Rebound taken off. Nice job once again in there. Uh, Eldred, Braylon Eldred, uh, played well underneath. I, I really enjoyed the hustle that uh, she's shown us tonight. Has seven points to show for it. Off the front of the rim, no good. Orzalewski into the ball game for Fort LaBeouf. Off the front of the rim again, no good. Rebound going to be taken up by Tasso. Two Scott on the left wing. Crossover, pull up. Kicks it off the left side. Eldridge jump shots up. It's no good. Rebound is taken off by Fort LaBeouf, and they'll come the other way with it. Stay low, Ella. Stay low, Ella. Fort LaBeouf just working to the outside. 220 left, 250 left in the ballgame. Penetration shots up off the glass. No good by LaBeouf. That was it, Allie Young. Tyson brings it up with Scott. Ooh. Little four-footer, no good. Rebound is taken off quickly, coming the other way. Is Lee Young, and she, uh, Allie Young picks up the easy field goal, 74-30. Right side to Eldred. At the baseline, a whistle. And foul. Wazilewski picked up the personal. That's her first. And it'll send Elder to the line. And Eldred picks up the the first of the one on one, the front end. 206 left in the ball game, 74 31. As Fort LaBeouf really opened it up here in the second half. Outscored Tiles with 32 to 7 here in the second half. Baseline shot is up. No good. Rebound taken off by LaBeouf. Shot by LaBeouf is up. It's no good. Rebound again by LaBeouf. Shot by LaBeouf is up again. No good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. And that will be off of Fort LaBeouf. Tiles will 
get the ball. Pape missed that last shot. Kylie Pape, a lot of the JV girls in for both squads, actually. Scott, foul line, 10 footer, shots up, no good, but uh, on the box out, she's going to be fouled. The foul will be on Wazalewski, backed into Scott, trying to box her out, knocked them both down. Amber Scott will be shooting too, having a conversation with the bench. Shot is up and good. Williams comes into the ball game for Fort LaBeouf. Now all five starters out for LaBeouf. 120 left in the game. Second shot by Scott's also good. Scott putting some pressure on. Now the buff gets the ball inbounds. Pape brings it up, comes right side, shots up in the right side off the glass, no good. And we have a jump ball, and it stays with Fort LaBeouf. Clock running on the mercy rule. Less than a minute. Anderson. Anderson goes to the basket, left hand shots up, no good, but she's fouled. Fouls on Paige Blake. And going to the line will be Kylie Pape. Shots off the back of the stream, no good. 74-34, 40 point game as uh, LaBeouf really has opened things up here. Second shot by Pepe is no good. Rebound by Page, comes to Scott. Amber pushes it up. Gonna go to the basket, her shot's up off the glass, no good. Rebound, Eldridge right there once again. And it'll be a jump ball to Titusville with 25 seconds left in the game. Scott to inbound. Out to Eldred, back to Scott. Scott's going to try to get the shot off, and she does. 10 foot jumper, in and out, no good. Rebound is taken off by LaBeouf, and LaBeouf will run the clock out with five seconds. And time will run out. Final score here at the lunch pad Fort LaBeouf 74, Titusville 34. We'll be back with a wrap right after this. Community Connect Federal Credit Union is a not-for-profit, member-owned financial institution, and becoming a member is pretty easy. Stop in, call, or visit our website at communityconnectfcu.com and click join to get started. Ask about our money market accounts, low interest loans on new and used vehicles, or start saving for the holidays with a Christmas Club account. Visit us today to get started. We're Community Connect Federal Credit Union, 1050 East Spring Street, Titusville. Interstate Pipe and Supply is proud to announce their celebration of 50 years in business. Holding true to their motto, service means business, they offer a full knowledgeable staff, full fleet of trucks, and large product offering. They are not just a plumbing location, but a one-stop shop assisting homeowners and contractors quickly and efficiently. They have been a primary pipe supplier in Titusville for 40 plus years. Good luck to the Titusville Rockets this year, and thank you for making Interstate Titusville's premier pipe supplier. Anderson Physical Therapy is committed to your long-term health and well-being. With certified licensed therapists, Andersons can provide therapy for all your rehabilitation needs. With offices located at 202 Union Street in Titusville and 118 Main Street, Titty Ute, Anderson looks forward to opening their new location in Cambridge Springs, making it convenient for you to get back to doing the things you enjoy. So stay on top of your game with Anderson Physical Therapy. With convenient locations in Northwest Pennsylvania and online 24-7 at andersonphysicaltherapy.net. 
Homerwood is a flooring manufacturing plant. We make solid and engineered plain saw and flooring. We are very family oriented. We watch out for each other. We're each other's brother's keepers. We just all get along and just take care of each other. We're a small company in Titusville and we ship flooring all over the world. Um, take a lot of pride in the flooring that we make and that it does go into high-end homes. Uh, we're very quality driven here. Exceptional care. That is what our team of compassionate experts at Titusville Area Hospital Orthopedics will provide. Whether you're experiencing aches and pains or have suffered from significant injury, we are here for you. Board certified orthopedic surgeon Michael Dvorkin is highly experienced in treating all orthopedic and sports medicine conditions. No matter what the treatment may be, you can trust that we'll be here for you every step of the way, helping you get back to the life you enjoy. Learn more about our exceptional orthopedic care at titusvillehospital.org. So, State Farm will be here to help protect our home? Of course. What about here? Yep. Nice. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Here? Mm hmm Who wants tinfoil in the microwave? Here? 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 Feels a little awkward. A little. Here? You too. It's so cold. Mm hmm Go with the one that's here to help life go right. State Farm. Are you moving at the speed of business? File transfers, multiple locations, video chat. Companies these days are using more data than ever, and it's got to be fast. With gigabit internet from Armstrong Business Solutions, you can keep up with a pack no matter what size your company is. We can provide your business a reliable connection to our advanced fiber optic network with speeds from 100 megs up to 10 gigs per second. Get your business in the fast lane. Armstrong Business Solutions. Your business is our business. Final here from the launch pad, the Bison over the Rockets, 74 to 34. Jim? Well, second half kills you, 34 to 10 is what I have unofficially uh, outscored in the second half. Uh, big guns for the uh, Bisons, Jenna Bennett comes in with 29 points. Lakeland Proctor comes in with 20. For Titusville, Amber Scott, 13. And Braden uh, Eldred with nine. But uh, turnovers kill you, Luke, and uh, we turned it over just too many times. And uh, some good ball playing inside by Bennett, some good three shooting by Bennett. Uh, really cost us a lot. So rebounding turnovers and the inability to score in the fourth quarter. We checked at the second half, entire second half, just put Titus down. We're down but only 14 at halftime, but we ended up uh, getting really beaten up in the second half. So uh, the final score ends up a 40-point difference, 74-34. Uh, just the four game killed us. We talked about that to gain the game, Luke, and it just adds up possessions and uh, just too many possessions for the Fort LaBeouf Bisons and they were able to convert on it. More basketball to come next week. It'll be the uh, boys taking on yeah. General McLean. Looking forward to uh, that matchup. Also uh, swimming next week. Uh, I think uh, pit basketball on the schedule. And then the following week, we'll wrap things up for the season. Just a quick one for you. Titusville's boys are playing over at Meadville. They have a uh, minute. Warren. And, uh, Warren, excuse me. A uh, minute to go. We're tied at 50. Wow. So, yep. It's going to be a good finish over there. All right. For our crew tonight, Chris Feely, camera operator. Jim Bonemer, play-by-play. I'm Luke Rio. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Again, the final here 74 34 the bison over the titusville rockets our coverage of titusville rocket basketball this season made possible by state farm insurance by oil creek plastics by interstate pipe and supply by true value hardware by armstrong by anderson physical therapy by the meadville medical center titusville area hospital by joe taylor ford by the barking lot by Community Connect Federal Credit Union. By Homerwood. By Vanderhoof Heating and Air Conditioning. And by RTI.